Today's edition of Bleeding Edge TV, I'm going to show you how to install some RAM in your Apple iMac, saving yourself hundreds of dollars in the process. Stay tuned. All right, so today I'm going to show you, as I said, how to install some RAM in your iMac. Um, it's the same kind of RAM you use in a MacBook Pro as well. Um, the iMac uses a uh, notebook RAM. And um, the reason you might want to do this is because it saves you a lot of money. So if you come over here and check this out, um, this is the iMac configuration screen if you're on Apple.com. And as you can see, the iMac comes with 4 gigs of RAM. If you want 8 gigs, if you want two 4 gigabyte modules, they're going to charge you $200. And if you want 16 gigs, that's four 4 gigabyte sticks of RAM, they're going to charge you an extra $600. So you're going to get you're going to pay $600, you're not going to get the original two 2 gigabyte chips. And what I have here is four 4 gigabyte chips of RAM. This costs me um, under $100. And in addition to that, I also have the 4 gigs that it came with, so if I wanted to, I can sell that or trade it in if you go to Otherworld Computing at MaxSales.com. You can actually trade in your old RAM and get credit for it, or you can sell it on Craigslist or eBay. So you can pay $600 to Apple to not do it yourself, or do it yourself, pay you know a nominal fee, and it's actually very simple. It might scare you to think about opening this thing up and putting RAM in it, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So first thing you need to do is shut down your computer. But before I do that, let me show you what I've got going on here. So as you can see. Um, in my iMac here I have 12 gigs of RAM and the reason that I have 12 gigs of RAM in there is because I actually got it with 4 gigs and I ordered the uh, same kit from somewhere else cheaper RAM took the chance on some cheaper RAM and it wasn't that good so um, I have the original 4 gigs plus an additional 8 gigs because the other 8 gigs didn't work and that's this right here this Corsair RAM didn't work out so well so I'm going to take all the RAM out of there, replace it with the, the other world computing RAM, which I know is good. I've used them plenty of times. don't know why I didn't use them in the first place this time around. So first thing I'm going to do is just shut down the computer. You do not want to do this uh, with your computer on. Electrocute yourself, ruin your computer, ruin your RAM. Who wants to do that? So here it is. We're shutting down. Um, you're going to need one tool. It's just a simple screwdriver. Uh, Phillips, Phillips head screwdriver, and then we're just going to get underneath this uh, panel here on the iMac to open it up. So now we'll just wait for it to shut down. What I'm going to do now, that everything's shut down, I'm just going to disconnect everything from the back um, so I can kind of lay the iMac down without the cords getting in the way. And all everything's right. removed from the back, and I'm just going to lay it down, tilt it down like that. Okay, now if you come in here, here you see there's three screws. One, two, three. You just need to unscrew each of those. That's where the RAM is, is stored. So just remove those screws. Oops. That should be good. There we go. So in there we've got four RAM modules. And the way you get them out is you pull on these things. So nice pull comes right out on this one I found that the left one is a little more difficult for some reason yeah there it is take those out as well so the original ones that I, that came with it are these uh, these blue ones Alpida brand two gigabyte modules and the ones I bought the Corsair are green um, so you got four RAM slots in there room for four I'm going to open up the other RAM and put it in there Um, by the way, the way I knew that this RAM was bad, the original RAM that I purchased, is after I installed it, um, the computer would crash. Programs would crash, uh, the operating system would stall, I'd get kernel panics, I'd have to reboot. If you install new RAM and that happens, especially in a new computer, you might be thinking you just got a bad computer. It's probably the RAM. So, 
and the easy way to test that is to just put other RAM in there and see if you get the same issues. If not, it's the RAM. So, here we go. We're going to install these. So I'm going to start with the rear. Just kind of fit it, fit it into the slots there. And you want to push it in until you hear a click. And you'll feel it. You might not hear it, but you'll feel it. And I just felt it click in. I'm grab the next one. I'm going to put it in the top slot there. You want to try to line it up correctly because if not, it can actually get stuck in there and you have to get some pliers. And it clicked in. So there, that's 8 gigs right there. Next slot on the left. Just going to line it up like that. And then you just want to push it in. And I kind of push it in from both sides because you want to click on each each side, the left and the right. Last one right here. Slide it in and push. There it is. Um, and that's it. Now you just need to close it up. So you put these tabs back in. You just fold them under the RAM, just like that. Next one. Kind of find, gotta find the space between the RAM and like the, the side of the Mac. And there it is. Um, now I just need to screw this back in. Like, that's done. So that's what Apple wants to charge you 600 bucks for, which we just did. It just took, what, three, three to five minutes? Plus ordering it. If you order an iMac and you just order the RAM, it'll be there at the same time. Just spend some time doing this. All you need is a screwdriver. Now we're just gonna screw this thing back on. A little grill to protect the RAM. And last one. All right, so now I'm, I'm screwed in. Everything's fine. The old RAM's out. New RAM is in. Uh, and again, just saved myself hundreds of dollars. It's pretty ridiculous. They're also going to charge you tax on top of that. So it's $600 plus tax if you're in a state where they charge tax. Who wants to pay all that? I don't know that anyone does, especially when it just takes a few minutes to avoid it all. So now what I'm going to do is just plug everything back into my Mac like I had it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now I'm just going to turn the Mac back on and we'll verify that I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. Alright, logging into the computer here. Stuff is going to start popping up. Probably going to hear audio when we mute everything. Because all we care about right now is this more info memory whoops see stuff is popping up 16 gigabytes of RAM I don't know if you can see that or not but it says it right there memory 16 gigabytes RAM that's how quick and easy that was to save yourself six hundred dollars well I guess minus the cost and pay a hundred or whatever easy quick simple um, you can do it yourself pretty much anyone can do that all you need is this all you need is a little strength to turn your Mac over to its side, unscrew three screws, and pull a couple of tabs out, and then insert the RAM, and then re-screw it. That's all it takes. Five minutes will save you way more. You'll, you'll get back way more money in that five minutes than you'll probably get doing spending five minutes doing anything else that you can think of. If you can think of something else, let us know in the comments. But that's pretty much it. I'll give you a link to where you can buy this RAM. Uh, MacSales.com is what we like, but I'll put a link there. Um, again, it's very inexpensive. It's great RAM. It works in the iMac, and you save cash. That's the big deal, especially if you get the high-end iMac for $300 more. It's a way to save some money and make your money back a little bit. Make sure your wife doesn't get too mad at you. That's it today from Andrew Edwards here at Bleeding Edge TV. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. We're at Gear Live. We're also on Facebook.com slash Gear Live if you like to like us over there. We'd appreciate it. And of course, you can follow us here on YouTube. Subscribe to us, rather. YouTube.com slash Gear Live to get notified whenever we publish a new tech video, how-to, unboxing, whatever it is. Until next time, stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com.